Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a journal with me and I'm using my paper gang box. This is for the month of June. Honestly, I'm kind of disappointed that they didn't do like a pride theme box because I feel like that would be really fun. But here are the creators, like the artists behind this box. And this is just a little pamphlet showing what's in the box and other stuff. know why there were two stickers on this one but they've got the gold paper gang sticker i love how the boxes have this paper so then i can use it in my journals and it doesn't go to waste so here we have some stamps there are three stamps and one of them says happy birthday it comes with a blue ink pad and it's honestly pretty nice Then I got some washi stickers, which there are four sheets, two of each design. So the sticker itself is like the texture of washi tape. I think there's like four, but I got some envelopes with just blank cards. The envelopes are where the real design is. There is a nice notepad, and honestly, probably will throw some of these into the journal kits. New pens, I love when they include pens in the boxes. And then that's all in the box. So now I'm just gonna test out these pens. They came with a green, a pink, and a blue. I didn't like them as much as the first time I got pens in a paper gang box. I feel like these were just being a little more difficult but they're just like gel pens and they have a nice design on the outside. That's really the only thing that makes them special. Now I'm just testing out the stamps. Honestly, I don't even use stamps that much, but these ones were nice and it's a really nice ink pad. But yeah, this is just testing what they look like. And I actually end up cutting these out later and using them in the spread, but I don't actually film that part, but you can see it on the very, like the final spread. Now I'm just gathering my supplies. I took my journal stuff outside. I thought it would be a little more aesthetically pleasing, a little more enjoyable to watch. Now the stickers I showed has nothing to do with the paper gang box, but I found them at five below and I liked them, so I brought them to use them. Now this is my current journal. The cover is kind of cliche whatever, but the reason why I got this journal was because I'm obsessed with the pages. One side is a grid page and the other side is lined and it has a space for the date as well. And I love like the PVC plastic cover over it, it's just really satisfying. And so this is the journal I am currently working in. I still have to upload a couple journal flip throughs, but this is the journal I am working in now. For one side of the page, I'm going to be using the notepad and using it as a base for the spread. And then I'm using the pamphlet to use some of the illustrations from there. As well as the paper it was all wrapped in. One thing I like to do to differentiate my pages and switch it up sometimes is glue in a notepad page like this. It's why I include ones like this in my journal kits. And so it just gives you a new place to write on and a new surface. And also I had ink all over my hands from the ink pad and I would get it in places. So this spread ended up being a mess. But with the other side of the page, I covered almost half of it in the wrapping paper. And then I am using the 
front illustrations from the pamphlet and finding places to put them on the page as little accents. It's a bad boy. I'm using both these stamps and the washi stickers because, of course, I mean, how could I not use them when I'm making a journal spread out of the materials? The stamps did not go the best. The one on the left side of the page, though, did was good, but the other two were kind of a mess. I just clearly didn't do it right. <laughs> Then I'm adding the plant stickers that I got from Five Below. One of the sheets from the sticker set is like iridescent, holographic kind of thing, and the other's matte, so I used the kind of iridescent, I guess is the word. I don't know the terminology, don't get mad. But yeah, I'm layering the papers and the stickers and everything, so it's visually interesting, but also it looks like a mess. Like, it's, it's a lot to look at, but it's fine. I just wanted to utilize all the different stationery and stuff. I'm putting this paper on different spots across the page to try to unify it because, like I said, it's definitely overwhelming to look at. I also added this washi tape on both sides for the same purpose, which this washi tape is my favorite color. And I, again, I tried to continue to try to unify it by like making lines, I guess, with the pens because I wanted to use the pens in the spread, but it was just messy. The stamps were spreading. It would, it was all a mess by the end, but I mean that there was my final spread. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers. I love you guys and have a good day. Thank you.